All right, hey everybody, welcome to a video. Been a while since I've uploaded, I do miss it, I do miss it. And we got a good one today. We're going to be looking at functions here in preparation of doing activity uh, 3.2.5, the artificial intelligence, rock, scissors, paper simulation here. This one, we're not really gonna dive into that yet. That video will be coming out uh, hopefully next week. Today, we're just going to dive into uh, functions, what they are, how to use them, and just writing a couple functions. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. I'm actually just going to write a, a simple function. So uh, whenever we're doing a function, we're going to start it with a death. Uh, that's the beginning. And then we're going to write the name of the function. We can kind of write up, make up whatever name we want here. Um, you can see I've titled this one mathfunctions.py. So I'm going to be writing some area and volume formulas as functions. So let's see. Let's see, volume uh, or definition of area underscore square. Okay, so that's the name of my function. And now I'm going to put the parameter here in parentheses of, uh, let's go with S for side length of the square. And uh, then I believe we need to end with a colon here. So let's see if that worked. Okay, and it automatically indented for me, which is perfect. Okay, let's do this. Let's define a variable area. And let's set that equal to s squared, so, or and just maybe to make it easy, we'll just do s times s. And then we'll say print area. Okay. Now we've got a uh, invalid syntax here. Let's run it and see what it might be complaining about here. Var var area equals s times. Maybe we'll just delete this uh, var and see if that works. Ah, okay, that seems to work. So. There we go. Now you can see that nothing actually ever printed, right? So it says print area, but it didn't print. And why is that? And that's because this is a little bit different than just a regular code. This is a function. So the way a function works is you set it up, and then any time you want to use that function, you make what's called a function call. So I need to call that function before area square will be activated and uh, before we'll do anything. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say area square, and uh, then we're going to put, let's put a 5 in the parentheses there. And now uh, what I'm expecting to see print out here is, what I'm expecting to see print out is 25. So let's see if that works. Ah, and it did work. Okay, so let's clean it up a little bit here. Let's put uh, uh, the area of your square is... And then we'll put a plus sign and we'll put an area. Okay, let's run that. Now I might get an error here. Yes, I did. Okay, so it's telling me I cannot concatenate string and integer objects, of course. So I can't combine this string with this number or this integer right here. So what I need to do is use the string function. Now this might come in handy on some other programs that we've worked on in the past. Hopefully we're a little bit familiar with that, let's run it now. And it says, ah, the area of your square is 25. So there we go. So we created a function and then we called that function right here. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do another one. Let's say death uh, for this time, let's do some volume and let's do volume of a cylinder. And then this time we're gonna need two parameters. So let's see, so we have our area of a square right here. Uh, and we can check our work even though we probably don't need to. Okay, so if we put in the area of, of the length of the side is five, the area is 25, that worked out. Let's see your volume of a cylinder. Let's find that formula. The volume is pi times radius squared times height. So, okay. So we're gonna have two parameters that we need to provide it with. One is the radius and the other one is the height. So there we go. So we have parameter one and parameter two. And uh, you know what, I forgot my colon. So let's go there. Hit the tab, okay, and then let's say cylinder equals uh, pi. So let's say math.pi, I believe that's it, with no capital, uh, times the radius squared, so r times r times h. So that's the formula for the area, pardon me, the volume of a cylinder. Let's see that, and now, uh, instead of printing this, let's do something else. Let's say return cylinder. And uh, something that's not liking here, it's not liking the math. Let's run it and see what happens. Mm, so we get the area of your square is 25, but we don't get anything else. 
potentially because the function was never called, I think what I need to do here is put an import statement. Let's import math. So that allows me to import the math class. And now I can use calls like math.py. And actually, there's a bunch of things that we can um, use from math. But anyways, there we go. Okay, so we return math. All right, now, of course, I have my complete and correct uh, volume cylinder function, but I've never called it. So let's do this. Let's say volume cylinder, and let's provide it with, uh, let's see, let's so four and uh, 10. Param H, param R. Okay, good. Let's run it. And uh, the area of your square is 25. So that one's working, but still nothing is printing. Right? And that's because I still have no print statement anywhere in the program for volume of cylinder. So let's add one in here. Let's add a print statement there for volume of a cylinder, 4 and 10. Let's run it now and see if it works. Okay, the area of your square is 25. And we have 502.6548. We got a, quite a long uh, string here. So let's see if that is correct for and 10 if i'm not mistaken 502.65 and there we are we've got it 502.65 and there's some functions for you good luck making your own